Hello guys, welcome to the very first ever monthly Hellboy on this YouTube channel, Mignoliverse. Just a note before we start, scheduled solicitations are accurate to the time of this video's creation according to darkhorse.com. For the week of October 11th, we have Joe Golem, Occult Detective, The Drowning City, number two. The official solicitation is, as a madman's plot to pierce the veil between worlds brings the drowning city ever closer to doom, Simon Church and Joe Golem race against time to find an ancient artifact before its power is used for evil. But even a golem may not be able to withstand the menace of the mysterious gas men. To be frank, I have no idea what's going on in Joe Golem right now, but it sounds wonderful and it's not Hellboy canon. So why are we talking about it? Because Mike Mignola wrote it along with Christopher Golden with an art artist, with artist Peter Birding, colors by Michelle Madsen, and a cover by Dave Palumbo. So I am so excited for that book. I, I don't read Joe Golem, I'm being honest. There's not a whole lot to talk about this month, honestly. Uh, October is pretty blank for the Hellboy universe. Also on October 10th, we get a reprint, ta-da, of Hellboy the Wild Hunt trade paperback. Uh, this is very important because if you're going to read the books before the movie, you know, this is what the movie's based on, so you should read this book. It has a nice gold sticker on it that tells you, HEY! If you want to watch the movie and read the book at the same time, maybe you should read this book. That's, that's what the sticker means, so you should get that book. I don't know, it's a reprint. Uh, it's not new. <laughs> but, uh, Hellboy the Wild Punt. Hellboy the Wild Punt. Serving as the inspiration for the new feature film, Hellboy is called to England to take part in an ancient ritual of hunting giants, but quickly faces a much more dangerous enemy, Nimue, the Queen of Blood, who has risen from the ranks to create a monstrous army. Lauded as one of the greatest sagas of the modern comic book industry, IGN, Hellboy's story has spanned 20 plus years and led to multiple spin-off titles, prose books, and films. Uh, so yeah, and it's written by Mike Mignola, Duncan Fregretto, Dave Stewart, cover artist Michael Mignola, you know, shocking Mike Mignola would have some involvement in this. So, you know, definitely pick that up if you're going to uh, watch the new, new, the new movie. I'm sure Kevin Alford thinks this is very high quality content. October 24th, we have BPRD Hell on Earth Volume 3, the hardcover. Uh, which I have been collecting all of these. Uh, we have all the first two right here. So if you like Hell on Earth, you should definitely pick that up. Uh, the official solicitation is the BPRD fight to protect the world from the rise of the monstrous Ordu Hem as teams hit a blizzard torn Russia and the ruins of both Chicago and New York. Meanwhile, Liz Sherman fights a dangerous doctor in Utah and a young psychic phoenix goes head to head with the monster worshiping cult. This deluxe hardcover edition collects BPRD Hell on Earth Volume 7 to 9, plus an expanded sketchbook section, which legitimately the sketchbook sections in these books are awesome, so you should 1000% invest in it just for that. I actually own all these in, uh, in single issues already, so. So writers, Mike Mignola, John Arcudi, artists Lawrence Campbell, Peter Sneberg, and I apologize if I just mispronounced that because, it's, you know, it's a very complicated name and I'm not a very... Great namer. Tyler Crook and James Harron. Colorist Dave Stewart. Cover artist Lawrence Campbell. And that's really it for the month. There's not a whole lot going down in uh, uh, like a week. No, actually, yeah, in literally a week from this video's release, we will be getting our first trailer, probably, for the new Hellboy movie because of New York Comic Con and plus a bunch of other news. I personally am going to try to avoid watching the trailer directly, but writing a whole entire article on it still somehow. I don't know how that's going to work out. I may end up just having to watch a trailer, but I don't want to, because I want to go into this movie blind. Additionally, since it's our very first actual upload on the channel, well, we had a uh, thing before this, but we are going to be uploading regularly, but that's going to be in a month because I need time to get ahead. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not getting paid for this, and, you know, <laughs> there's going to be... A lot of content coming out, so I need a month to get ahead, but just so you know, in a month, we will be having regular uploads. We're also kind of figuring out what our normal format will be, but it's going to be reviews and stuff like this and just analytical essays. I actually plan on doing way more video essay content for this website than I'm normally used to. Who am I? 
I'm so glad you asked. I make YouTube videos on the channel Page Flip. If you want to go subscribe to that, that's all uh, comic book content. And I also do some video gaming content on the side. If you want to go check those out, and you can find them. Uh, also follow me on Twitter at Dan is a plant. That's D A N I S A P L A N T. Plot twist E. Also, what content do you want to see the most on this channel? Is there a particular character you want to see us do a write-up of? Is there any sort of other content you want to see, like, review-wise, or just, like, really random video ideas? Let us know! Maybe even, like, unboxings and stuff like that. We're gonna have more interviews coming for you. Uh, I already have some on my computer that I need to edit. I'm gonna be editing those tomorrow. You can follow Mignolaverse at, on Twitter at Mignola News and on Facebook, Mignolaverse. Also, you can visit the main website, Mignolaverse.com. That's M-I-G-N-O-L-A-V-E-R-S-D.com. I just realized I've been saying Mignola this whole time. It should be Mignola because I'm a monster and I can't get people's names right. Uh, I apologize, Mike, and... Uh, I don't, I apologize for saying your name very wrong. It's a habit. I've grown up with your books for a very long time, and I've been pronouncing it that way. And uh, I'm only just now knowing that it's pronounced Mignola. So I will do my best to say that from now on. Because I suck, and I apologize. <laughs> Legitimately apologize, actually, if you actually watch this video. Because there is a chance you could watch this video or something like that. I don't know. This is a very bad video, but I don't give a shit. Uh, can I swear on this? Fuck it, it's my YouTube channel. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>